Hello again! Welcome to another episode of... Jackson, the Space Dog! That's me! Today we'll be talking about... Multiplying polynomials! Let's take a minute to review the distributive property. Remember that when we see a problem like this, we use the distributive property to distribute the 7x to the 3x, giving us 21x squared. And we also distribute the 7x to the 4, giving us 28x. So, when we multiply two polynomials, we are using the distributive property. One method we could use for that is called the FOIL method. Carl, is that aluminum foil? Uh -huh. That's not what we mean by the FOIL method. Uh -huh. The FOIL method is a way of multiplying two binomials. It stands for first, outer, inner, and last. Let's see how that works. If we multiply the first parts of our two binomials, we get x squared. Then we multiply the outer parts of our two binomials to get 5x. Then we multiply the inner parts of our two binomials to get 2x. And finally, we multiply the two last parts of our binomials to get 10. Then we combine like terms to get our final answer. Let's see another example. In this example, we multiply the first parts of our binomials to get x squared. Then we multiply the outer parts of our two binomials to get negative 3x. Then we multiply the inner parts of our two binomials to get 4x. And finally, we multiply the two last parts of our binomials to get negative 12. Then we combine like terms to get our final answer. If you don't like the FOIL method, you could use what is called the BOX method. Carl, please do not tell me that you have a BOX behind your back. BOX method is another way of multiplying two binomials. We line our two binomials on the top and side of a box divided into four smaller spaces. We use this as a way to organize exactly what we would do in our FOIL method. We multiply the parts of our two binomials that would intersect in the empty spaces of the box. And again, we add our like terms to get our final answer. Let's see another example. Once again, we take our two binomials and line them on the top and the side of the box. And we multiply the parts of our two binomials that intersect in the empty spaces of the box. Then add our like terms to get our final answer. Thanks again for watching. See you next time on Jackson, the Space Dog. That's me. Okay, Carl, I really don't understand where you find all these things on a spaceship. <laughs>